It is January the 5th, 2018. I've got something to show you tonight that is just going to be amazing. It is amazing to me now that I finally see it. I've been doing this for so many, many years and not until a conversation came up and the details of that is not what's important. I want to get right to the point here. Uh, <clears throat> these are little line transformers. See that? 70.7 volt line and watts. Okay, here's another pretty one. See, this one's made by uh, Stancor, good USA transformer. Probably decades old. Here's another one. 70.7 volt line. This one is rated at uh, from here to half watt, 1 watt, 2, 4, and 8. What this means is, here's the part that I never thought about until just recently. What this is telling us is if we put a 70.7 volt RMS signal between here, this is common, they label it plus and minus, between here and here, between the common and the 0.5, for example, what we're going to get out the other side, but between common and 4, 8, or 16 ohms, let's say 8 ohm, let's just talk about 8. If we put an 8 ohm load from common to 8, common to 8 right there, see and there's the 4 and the 16, gives us all the choices. But let's say we put an 8 ohm load right there, and we put a 70.7 volt RMS signal between here and 0.5 we're going to get a half watt out this side if we put it between here and one we get a one watt two watt four watt or eight watt okay i bet you've seen these before and just thought well yeah but i don't need that well, what about this one same thing 70.7 volt line in watts if we put 70.7 uh, volt between c and here 0.31, we get 0.31 watts out of here into either a 4 or 8 ohm load, and so on. 6.62 watts, 1 and a quarter, 2 and a half, or 5. Well, here's here's what's important. This is the part that's really important. The 70.7, we know that power right here equals E squared over R. 70.7 squared over R. Well, we could, we're going to actually in our head, we're going to replace R with Z. Well, if this is true, then Z, or R, how we want to look at our impedance, and it really should be Z. This is, this is impedance and not R. This really is Z. Because that's what we're dealing with. We're not dealing with uh, DC resistance. Is equal to E squared over W. Well, E squared, 70.7 squared, is 5,000 every time. So we don't even have to figure this out anymore. Just remember 5,000. Now, what we want is the impedance of these things, and we're dealing with this little transformer right here. So, <clears throat> what you do is you draw your transformer out, draw a schematic of it, C's are common, and the, the lowest power is the, is the winding at the top, and every other one is, is a tap. Okay, so all we have to do is start dividing 5,000 by the 5 watts. Shoot, yeah, 5 watts, that's right, this is this one. Well, if you divide 5,000 by 5, you get 1,000. This is the 1,000 ohm winding. If we divide 5,000 by 2.5, we get 2,000. And in this case, each one doubles. If we divide 5,000 by 1.25, we get 4,000. If we divide 5,000 by 0.62, we get 8,000 and 10,000. Now, I'm sure these are uh, little... Um, SE type transformers. They probably have an air gap in them so they don't saturate so easily, but that's okay. We can still use them for push-pull. They may not be quite as efficient, but these things are jewels being thrown around in our boxes that we never thought about. Look at this. Okay, if we put a, a signal from common to six to the top into 16,000 ohms, do we have a center tap? And the answer is yes, we do, actually. Because the center tap, you remember that um, impedance is the turns ratio squared. So if you take this and take one-fourth of it, divide it by four, you'll get 4,000. So the center tap is right there. So you've got a plate here, a plate here, and a center tap right there. So you've got a push-pull transformer, too. 
let's say you want to use the 8,000 one. From here to there, you use the 8,000. You just ignore the ones you don't use, but you put your one plate here on C from your tube, you put the other plate here, you got an 8,000 ohm load, so you got to divide that by 4, so you, the 2,000 ohm tap right there is the center tap. It actually is. 4,000, well one fourth of that would be right there, 1,000. Plate, plate, center tap. See, we couldn't, we can't have a 2,000 ohm because we'd need a, uh, a 500 ohm center tap. We don't have that. So, if you want to say a 4,000 ohm, you put there and there and there's your center tap and then you've got common 4, 8, 16 ohm output. Or whatever. This one's just got 4 and 8. Let's look at another transformer. Same thing. Works every time. It's too simple. Okay, this one does have 4, 8, and 16. As you can see. Voice coil. And it tells you the same thing over here. 70.7 volt line. 70.7 volts from here common to right here will deliver a half a watt to either 4, 8, or 16 ohms. So we do it again. It's always 5,000 because it's E squared, which is 70.7 squared. 70.7 squared is 5,000. So you just start dividing it by the number of watts. Uh, like I say, the, um, the uh, smallest number is, is, is the entire winding, and the highest power is, is the least amount of winding. And then, so 5,000 divided by 8 is 625. 5,000 uh, divided by 4 is 1250, 2,500, 5,000, and 10,000. So that's what I've got here. I've got a 10,000 ohm transformer, and the, and the center tap would be one-fourth of 10,000, which would be 2,500. It would be right there. This would go to a plate, this would go to a plate, and that would go to your center tap. Or if you wanted a 5,000 ohm, which is most common in the world, I think, be here and here, and the center tap would be on 4. And then you got common 4, 8, 16. These things are dirt cheap. I never thought about using these as push-pull transformers. I never ever actually even thought about using them as uh, plate load transformers, as plate output transformers for single-ended or push-pull. But there they are. And these things are dirt cheap. And they're everywhere. And some of them are pretty doggone big, you know. And you get them for almost nothing instead of paying all of these ridiculous high prices for... Uh, the so-called push-pull output transformers. What what got me started on this is I saw that somebody was advertising on on uh, eBay how they measured. I didn't say they measured, but they said the inductance was equal. Like for example, between the five between common with the center tap of the five thousand be the twelve fifty. So the inductance between C and four and four and one would be the same. And indeed, it is. I'll show you between four and C and four and one. 4 and C and 4 and 1. Okay, let's point the uh, camera up here. Let's see if I can get this thing up. Sorry for the fumbling, but we're just going to have to deal with it for a second. 4 and C and 4 and 1. Okay, we can get in just a little bit closer. Okay, 4 is right there. I've already got it balanced, so you don't have to watch me fumble with it. See how it nulls right there? See? Nulls. They're between 4 and C. That's between 4 and 1 watt. And there's between 4 and common. It's real. These things, I've, I've probably thrown away, these, I probably ignored so many of these and never realized what I had because I'd never, I never thought it out. I never realized it was so simple. So you may have you may have more transformers than you realize. Just look into your uh, your stock of um, line transformers and see what you got. Live and learn, huh? I sure learned here. I feel dumb for not figuring that out a long, long time ago, but I just ignored these little things, and they're actually quite, they're going to come in quite handy, I think. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. After making this video, I just came in here and looked on uh, eBay. Look here. $7.95. None available. 
but uh, look here let me go over to right there there you go look see exactly what we were talking about you divide everything by 5,000 so it's the 500 ohm or the 10 watt if it gives you the ohms you you know how much power because you you still divide it into 5,000 <clears> which is e squared 70.7 squared so the 10 watt one is 500 ohms 5 watts a thousand two and a half watts 2,000 4,000 and 8,000 just like what we just derived so <clears throat> If you want to make a push-pull transformer out of this, you'd put common and 4,000, and this would be the center tamp. Or again, this would be a 8,000 ohm load with the uh, center tap right there. There they are, $8 a piece. I can't get over it. Look at this, here's some more. See, they don't have all the numbers on there, but now that you know how to do it, if it's a five water, you would divide the five into 5,000. This is a thousand ohm tap. That'd be the 2,000. That'd be the 5,000, the 10,000, uh, the 20,000 ohm. How about that? For 495. I'm not advertising for eBay. I'm just showing you how cheap these things are. I think they'll work just perfect. Now here, now here's some that you probably want to avoid, actually. See, they want $50 for them, but look at these. Let's see. Yeah, look here. See, these are one-to-one. -one. 650, 250, or 500 ohms, two, 650. You don't want those, not unless that's what you want them for. This is not going to work for your, for your um, amplifier. So these won't work. I'm sure they're really pretty. But uh, they oh well, those are beautiful, aren't they? Wow, no, th those are those are really beautiful. But uh, there they are, yeah. But they're wrong; they're not going to work. <laughs>